Hey my ladies and my gents, I'm Stephen Tosher and on today's episode I want to talk to you about being a living testimony. Now some of you may know I had a really rough end of November 2013 to a really rough beginning of 2014 in January and it really stunk but since then I've had a lot of people have come alongside me and told me how miserable their time was as well all the things that were going on in their lives the weight people gained and people kept saying to me Steve you know you're a real inspiration you're doing some great stuff and I, I couldn't you know look them straight in the eye and say what are you talking about because in reality I spent many weeks trying to cover up all the problems that I had. Being unrealistic about my potential, my goals, and what I was going to try to do. And at the end of the day, I wasn't being transparent. The whole reason why I started doing this video series. So I've recalibrated. You know, I've, I've rethought. Right? This is about getting information out to people who either don't know or who just need that extra push in the right direction. And really and truly, as much as it's helping me to understand that when I am a living testimony, I can help people, I think it is very necessary for you to really grasp that concept. You may not shoot a video in your life or write a blog, but I tell you, there are many people in your life that you can affect. Think of the people you work with, or the people you go to school with, your family, or maybe you've got kids. How are you living? What is your testimony when you fall down? Do you get angry at other people? Do you get miserable? Do you blame other people like I have in the past? And I'm sure I will again. Do you get miserable? Yeah, like I think most of us do. But do you get up again? Are you even willing to try? Or do you stay clean on the sidelines while you watch everyone else falling down and getting dirty? And do you laugh at them and say, huh, you know, that'll never happen to me. Well, chances are it won't happen to you if you stay on the sidelines. But you probably won't grow either. You know, as a Christian, we talk about the gifts of the Spirit. So that's love and being charity, well, to be peaceful and, and long-suffering. And charity is involved with that as well. And there's a bunch of stuff you can read up on, on the gifts of the Spirit. But... At the end of the day, it's how you're running the race, it's how you're pushing forward. There's a lot of analogies in the Bible about sports and pushing forward and, and the body because that's really one of the things that we really, really struggle with as human beings. It's when you're tired going for that extra little run or getting out of a lazy state. And really and truly that's what it's all about, is falling down. Because I tell you this. I would rather fall down with scabs and bruises and, you know, uh, slip from that wall that I haven't been able to climb for months or years than standing there looking polished and refined, not going anywhere. So who are you a living testimony for? What decisions do you make that are impacting others? Are they right? Are they wrong? I'm fairly sure as human beings we can go across the board and say, Life isn't fair. Or, the things around us don't make sense. Or, the things around us are really hard and rough. And granted, we should be thankful all the time, but are we? No. But it is in those moments that happen really day by day, moment by moment. It is how we deal with them. How we take the time to recalibrate ourselves and get right back to work. Get back to grinding, as one of my friends said. Just grinding it out. Setting goals daily that are accomplishable. And if not, getting back to it the next day and grinding it out again. Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please... Tweet! Tumble! Like! Share! Thumbs up! Plus! Pin! Or do whatever you do, and please, subscribe!